So, I come by my book buying and book collecting habits, honestly. This is my dad's book collection. He wants to build a library down here, but for right now it's just shelf after shelf after row after row of books. When we first moved into this house, this is my childhood home, uh, this was his, I guess, his like office. This is like a den area that the previous owners had added on to the home. So this used to be his office and over time he just outgrew it as you can imagine. I wish I could like, I had a better way to show you guys just how many books are in here and how deep the shelves go all the way to the back. And it's like a maze in here of just shelf after shelf after shelf. And I get scared whenever I come in here because I don't want to knock anything down. But I just wanted to show you guys the magnitude of what we're dealing with. There's more books down here, all the way from floor to ceiling. So yeah, these books, honestly, there's so many like different types of books down here. They're like academic books down here, fiction, Nonfiction. I think primarily nonfiction. It's a primarily a nonfiction collection. My dad's an English professor, so even all the way to the ceiling, y'all. Books, 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 books. So yeah, the next five years he wants to build like a library and expand on the house. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys. <sighs> Happy Christmas Eve, Eve my present to you so intense it's vlogmas day 11 by the way it's been a very long day I ran a lot of errands it's my mom worked today and hopefully i can get some reading done i did start reading a new book so i haven't read anything that i said i was going to read i said i was going to read um november 9 haven't started it yet said i was going to read the hookup, I have started the hookup. I'm like a couple chapters in. But I started reading a new book that I found while I was at work. I was on my Amazon account browsing, seeing like what other new releases are out there for my Kindle Unlimited subscription. And I found this new book. I will put the cover on the screen right now because I can't remember. I think it's called Private or something. It's good so far. It's giving me Beauty and the Beast vibes. It's about this millionaire or billionaire or you know one of those super rich guys who has basically secluded himself away in his mansion he never goes anywhere and i'm only a couple chapters in but i'm getting the sense that he's punishing himself for something i think some people died and i know his parents died and i feel like there was a terrible incident or accident so he just hides himself away and he's become a recluse and he just he wears this like hoodie and no one can ever see his face and he just hides himself, even from, like, the people that work on his estate, like his servants. Servants? Such a weird word. But the, the workers, he hides himself away from them, and then you kind of figure out that he's disfigured, so whatever this accident was disfigured him, and he feels, like, ugly. Um, but yeah, just started, and I, I'm gonna keep reading it tonight. We'll see how it goes. I will say that so far in the plot of the novel, before I forget, basically where we begin the novel, we kind of get the sense that he's a recluse and he's hidden, hidden himself away and he's, you know, something horrific happened that really forced him to hide away, you know, also his disfigurement because of what happened. But then one of his workers, servants, whatever you want to call it, gets ill and she is basically his housekeeper slash administrative assistant she kind of runs his home and she gets really sick and they can't quite figure out what's wrong with her she has a personalized doctor that comes to the mansion to care for her so she has personalized care and she can't go to the hospital because he can never leave his estate because he's a recluse and he never goes anywhere so he's basically brought the hospital to her in his home and she's not getting any better and nobody can figure out nobody you know the doctors can't figure out what's wrong with her they've done all these tests and they can't figure it out and she seems to be getting worse 
And so, you know, the doctor advises that her daughter come and see her just in case she doesn't make it. And so the daughter comes to the estate and this is the first visitor on the estate since he's secluded himself away and he's secluded himself for 10 years. So she is the first visitor to the estate and it's a really big deal because he hasn't let anyone else come. And the daughter is a biracial, so she's half black, half white. The mom, the mom is white. The father died. He's the black parent. Um, so that was interesting to see a biracial female protagonist. I always enjoy twists like that that are unexpected. So I didn't expect it when I picked up the novel. I mean, so she comes to the estate and she's like a breath of fresh air. She's very in your face and. She promises him that she's going to break all of his rules and turn everything upside down. And she's only communicated with him through his best friend slash, like, I want to say it's like his assistant, but his best friend is basically the one, his mouthpiece. He does everything for him. So I'm getting like Batman and Robin vibes too. Uh, like he's Batman and his best friend is Robin, his faithful sidekick that basically just, you know, helps him out and is the face of him because he refuses to go out in public and is his mouthpiece and speaks for him so that's how she's primarily communicated with him but she did get him to come out of hiding even though she hasn't seen his face yet because he's wearing those hoodies and he's covered from head to toe in clothing so she hasn't actually seen him but he has been in her presence because he is intrigued by her and she is so in your face and brash and just like Mah. So yeah, I just wanted to basically let you guys know where I am in that novel right now. I don't know if I want to continue reading it or if I'm going to switch back over to the hookup. I guess we'll just see how the night goes. It's been so hard finding time to read these past 48 hours and I'm trying not to go into a panic because the month ends in a week and I still have like four books I need to read. Happy Bookmas Day 12. I just finished reading The Hookup by Kristen Ashley and it was so, so lovely. The perfect book to read on Christmas Eve. Excuse my surroundings, it's bedding laundry day. So just doing some errands <laughs> at the same time that I'm reading. But yes, The Hookup was such a beautiful story. It featured this wonderful love story that gave me all the Christmas feels even though it didn't take place during Christmas time but again it was just the perfect read to read today and I'm glad that I was finally able to get into it and complete it. I'm gonna be giving you more details about it as well as my thoughts and the synopsis in my December wrap-up video so I don't want to ramble too much on about it but I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick back up private or in private i can never remember the name of that book which i started yesterday i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and see where it takes me i also want to share with you all my reading plans for the week tomorrow is monday and christmas day and i plan on finally picking up november 9 tomorrow evening once all of the christmas festivities have died down and i hope to finish it by tuesday from Tuesday through Saturday, I hope to get to the rest of my TBR, which include the last Colleen Hoover novel I need to read, Without Merit. And then I did want to try to read some things. I think I showed them to you guys earlier in this vlog, but I'm just going to give myself a little bit of freedom for the end of the year to see what I feel like reading. And hopefully I surprise myself. Merry Christmas Eve! Yes, Merry Christmas Eve. I haven't started reading. Let me take off my glasses, Claire. Oh my gosh. I've been in my pajamas all day. I haven't started reading anything since I finished the hookup. I'm just giving myself a moment. I'm gonna have some dinner, drink some wine, see what moves me on my shelf. I forgot to show you guys all of these books. <laughs> There's way more on the other side. Hmm. Skip through all the Christmas decor. Way more books on this side. So I am currently reading The Night Before, which is a holiday novella by Jacintha Howard. So that was my pick. I'm about 
smack dab in the middle of chapter two. So far, I'm really enjoying the story. We have our main protagonist, Ava, who is home for the holidays, visiting her mother. And she doesn't come home often. It seems like after high school, she just kind of peaced out and didn't really look back. She comes from a small town and she's just not about it. But she's home for the holidays and she's allowed her best friend, Ellie, to drag her to this holiday party that's basically just a whole bunch of people from high school, which, you know, she's miserable. And she's sitting in the corner, twiddling her thumbs, wishing, wishing she hadn't come, when suddenly someone from high school, our male protagonist, comes up to her and starts to entertain her. I believe his name is Elias. I think so. I can never remember male protagonists. But anyways, um, so he starts talking to her and he convinces her to dance and they're kind of flirting and she doesn't remember him from high school. Apparently he was a couple years older and they ran in different circles and he's convinced her to spend Christmas Day with him after she has dinner with her mom. So that's kind of where we're at. We're also getting a little bit of exposition on Ava and Ellie and their best friendship and who they are as individuals. So that's interesting as well. It's currently about 9 p.m. so I want to see how far I can get into this because there's another holiday novella I want to read. Just what I'm in the mood for. I guess I'm getting into the Christmas spirit finally this holiday season. Merry Christmas, sweet friends. I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit more about my reading for this weekend. I guess it's technically Monday but this will be the last day of my reading vlog, so yesterday was Bookmas Day 12, so this is kind of like an extra bonus. I hope all of you are having a wonderful Christmas. By the time you see this, it will be after Christmas. So I hope your Christmas celebrations are wonderful and are filled with family, love, fun, and laughter. I will say that last night, Christmas Eve, I finished reading The Night Before, which is a holiday novella written by Jacintha Howard. I loved it. I gave it five stars and I will talk about it more in my wrap up. And for today, I'm just kind of contemplating what I'm going to read. My reading selection for today is going to come from this particular shelf. Can any of you guess what I'm going to pick? Obviously, my reading will come primarily after family time and right now we are preparing for our Christmas feast. <laughs> so it's going to be at 3 p.m. today. So I'm just kind of talking to you guys a little bit, going to get a little bit of editing and reading in before that time. My mom is slaving away in the kitchen and my brother and his wife will be coming over and my other brother is here and all of our dogs are here so it's kind of a madhouse. I will say however that this Christmas my family and I we all decided as a family not to exchange gifts and it has been really nice actually just focusing on family and love and the other tenants of the season. Charity, hope, you know, just peace and joy and all those other things and just being grateful and thankful to God for one another in our lives and what we have and thinking about those that have less and you know focusing on the less fortunate. So it's been a really nice Christmas not to focus so much on gifts. We all have what we need and we just wanted to do things a little bit differently this year. How cute are these pajamas you guys? How cute! I'm obsessed with them. So obsessed. And yes, I'm laying on a giant pile of laundry because I'm lazy and I hate putting away laundry and I have to make my bed and it's just not fun. It's not fun at all. So all the Christmas festivities have ended. It is currently about 9 p.m. And I think I underestimated how busy today was going to be and how much time I wanted to spend with my family. But I definitely want to try to get some reading in probably around 1130 for about an hour before I go to sleep. I have to go back to work tomorrow, so hmm. still no idea what I'm going to read, y'all. I will say, however, that I am very excited about these after Christmas book sales that are going to be going on. The book outlet is going to have a pretty banging sale. And I think Book Depository has a pretty great sale going on right now. So I'm super excited to buy me some books, honey. So I've decided I really, really like vlogging. I haven't really vlogged since my NaNoWriMo series in 2014. And I think I vlogged a little in 2015 for uh, Camp NaNoWriMo. But I really am enjoying this. So I've decided in the new year I'm going to be doing a weekly reading vlog. 
there's chaos going on right now around me. There's dogs running everywhere. But um, I'm going to do a weekly reading vlog and I purchased this the other day at Walmart. It's such a cute little jar and I'm going to fill it with the titles of books that I want to read this year and this is how I'm going to do my TBR. I know, I know, I've said many times that TBRs and I do not get along and that is still the truth. However, I want to make a change to read more intentionally in 2018 and to be able to intentionally choose novels that I truly do want to read and not just fall into old habits and old patterns and stay with what's comfortable to me. I want to push my reading boundaries a little bit. Dogs are going nuts. And the TV's on. Sorry. So I'm going to put the titles of the books that I want to read next year in this jar and I will pick my TBR accordingly. I will make sure that each month I pick several titles from this jar. That way I make sure that all the books that I am determined to read next year get read. I also will be doing my Harry Potter challenge next year. I know I talked about it a little bit earlier in my book miss series, but I will be reading one book from the Harry Potter series each month until we get to the seventh book in July and doing in-depth book discussions and analyses of them on this channel. So January begins with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, so I'm very excited. And yes, this is a reread. I've read this series many, many, many times, but I'm always excited to do it again. I'm, I just never do anything I say I'm gonna do. You know, my brain is just like, no, we're not doing that, Oshale. But yes, I still need to read, where did I put them? Hmm, I still need to read November 9 and Without Merit. And then I didn't actually read Slammed. I don't know if I am going to read Slammed since I've already read it. So I guess.